All right, folks. Ugh. This is... This has not been an easy video to make. Um, but I've got, uh, I got some stuff I should probably tell you. And to help me, because I know what I need for this kind of video, I've written up a script. I'm going to be reading the script almost directly, almost like word for word. Um, because I know that if I don't, A, I'm never going to get through this whole thing, and B, I'm going to end up babbling for who knows how long. So, I'm going to explain what's been going on, and what, and what, and where things stand, and blah, 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 etc. Here goes. The short story for what's been up with me lately is that I'm not really sure. I mean, I am sure, but I'm, I don't know, it's vague. July hit me really, really hard with, with that friend dying, and then getting really sick and then an insane few weeks at work and now all the mounting stress from having this car that I got, which having a car is a blessing, don't get me wrong, but oh man, it is hard to deal with. I need to be just reading the script, I'm sorry. I found a social group that I feel is worth investing time in. I started to get bored with all of the games I play for my channel. I started working a harder and more demanding job at work. A lot of things have happened but this kind of shit has never stopped me from making videos before. Getting bored with my games just means finding new ones to play. I still only work part-time, uh, albeit, you know, the upper limits and then some for what part-time means, so it's not like my job detracts from recording opportunities. And that social group, which you'd think would take a lot of my time, is just a Smash Bros. tournament series, which only meets once a week. My point here... Like, the point of this whole video, explaining where I've been and what's going on, is that the thing that's keeping me from making videos is me. This is a topic I've touched on a number of times in my channel's lifespan, but not one I've really dove into, because I never had a reason to. What it is that, that holds me back? Um, I have depression. I know it's not always something that when brought up sounds like... It sounds, it sounds like it's some kind of excuse or a fancy word meant to replace lazy, but trust me when I say that this is a little more serious than you might imagine. Now, I don't know if any sort of background is going to matter for the purpose of this video, so I won't go into it too much, but what I will tell you is that I spent my first two years in college falling deeper and deeper into some kind of inescapable pit, at least inside my head that always held me back. Held me prisoner in my dorm room, held me prisoner in my head. I'm pretty sure I was predisposed to having depression growing up, given the life I've lived, but it never really hit me until high school, and after a number of tipping points and some really bad decisions, everything toppled when I was 19, and I almost killed myself. I don't know if I'd call it attempted suicide, but you know it might as well have been, all things considered. And don't let my tone fool you here. I'm very good at masking the depression, but when I'm alone in my room for hours and hours... I don't know. It's weird. Depression is a disease, you know? I was sick for years, and honestly, the only thing that ever really helped pull me out of it was moving away. For, I mean, I mean, for those who've known me, who followed me long enough, and when I say long enough, I mean at least a year. You know that I went for a long, long time last year making pretty much no videos, doing nothing, saying nothing. And that happened because my parents and I had to move as our landlords had finally decided to sell the house we lived in, my childhood home. We moved across Washington State to a tiny town in the mountains with the worst internet connection possible. I was trying to build my channel back then, working towards something greater, something I could invest in and that would make me happy. I spent those months in that tiny town doing little more than stewing in my own dark thoughts. Although I don't think they were really dark in the traditional narrative sense so much as they were the kind of dark that's meant to represent the absence of light. What I mean by that is that my depression manifests as just a void. Nothing. Empty. <laughs> it's not malicious. Like, if you go on, like, Tumblr or something and 
you see people uh, do some kind of vent art that shows their depression or their anxiety or other mental illness is like this thing in the back of their head that's just constantly telling them they're not worth it or they're terrible or whatever. That's not my depression. My depression is slow and insidious. It's not actively trying to cause problems. It's just nothing. It's just nothing. I feel nothing. I am babbling. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Um, where was I? I'm still reading the script. I'm just trying not to read it too, too closely. So I don't want to sound like this is rehearsed. I promise you it's not. This is as genuine as you're going to get from me right now. Let's see. When I got the opportunity to move to Seattle, I didn't really have any idea what my life would become. I knew only two things going into this move. That I would be near a lot of people, and thus a lot of options for things to keep me going, and that I would be able to make videos again. I lived here for a couple months, my depression slowly improving, and then out of the blue I was hired and working at a Home Depot. That job, that job probably saved me from my depression. I mean, it, it felt like my depression was cured. Working made me happy, being able to pay my rent made me happy, being able to buy my own groceries made me happy, having the funds to seek out Smash tournaments, that social group I mentioned, made me happy. I was feeling independent and everything was getting better and I was learning to love the little things in life. I started a bunch of YouTube series too, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Um, all sorts of stuff. I was just having such a great time. I mean, hell, I built the community around my channel. More than doubled my subscriber count. Just, oh my god. The, the Taco Bell I had for lunch is not happy with me. <laughs> everything, everything was looking up. Everything is still looking up, if I'm being realistic, but that's not going to stop the depression here. I mean, sorry, I'm... Oh, I was just trying to follow a script, and I'm already digressing and babbling so much. Damn it. This is hard. This is really hard. The whole point of this video is that life isn't consistent. It's not consistently one thing or another. Like, it's never always perfect. It's never always terrible. The one exception I can think of to that rule, though, is, you know, when you're depressed. I spent five years grappling with that severe depression. Which is the only case I can think of, really, where those proverbial ups and downs in life don't exist. <laughs> my, uh, my job and my channel and those tournaments and all that stuff only mitigates the depression so much. And then a month like July slams me straight in the face and I get depressed again. It's... <laughs> I mean, like... This, 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 this following line is scripted, but still, I promise you, is true. Even now, both as I'm writing the script and while I'm speaking aloud and while you're watching this video, I am depressed. This isn't something that's just gonna go away. I managed it really well for months, and I will do my best as time goes on, but right now, I just am falling back in to that hole. This time, I'm, I'm not really sure what I can do to catch myself while I'm falling. I mean, last time, I didn't even know I was falling until it was too late, and I was almost dead. This time, though, at the very least, I, I, I can recognize what's happening, and I can use it I can use that recognition to be aware and seek something I can use to treat it. I'm not sure what I need, but I need something, and I know at the very least to look for it. And I'm definitely not... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna almost kill myself again, I promise. That won't happen. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever gonna hit a low as, 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 as low as I did in college. I'm not sure that's possible. <laughs> if y'all knew what I went through, oh my god. Sorry, sorry, digressing again. I'm gonna go ahead and say here, um, I anticipate there will be at least one comment on this video, and, it, like, I, I'll appreciate anything that you guys have to say about this, about my depression, but 
I can tell you that I know full well it's not going to change anything. My my depression just kind of negates any kind words that people have. Any words of encouragement or anything, they're they're basically meaningless. I mean, I know they're not meaningless, but me and my depression are two different things. They're two we're two different entities. My depression ruins my life. <laughs> I try not to. Um, but at the very least, I promise I will read every comment, and I might not respond to any of them, but, um, I don't know. Whatever you have to say, say it. I ain't gonna stop you. You guys know that's not how I, that's not how I, I operate. Ultimately, I know it's a little late for a TLDR, but, or I guess TLDL, too late, too long, didn't listen. TLDR here, YouTube is just going to get shelved. I don't know how long, um, but I have a lot of other things I have, I have to worry about. I have to deal with my job getting tougher. Um, I have to deal with this car situation, which could potentially cost me a lot of money and a lot of energy. Actually, that's pretty much it. Like, when you're as depressed as I am, even those two things alone drain everything from you. I mean, I made some phone calls today to inquire from some Honda dealerships about how I can get my car fixed, and then I just collapsed in my bed for three hours. Because when I'm depressed, I have no energy, and no energy means I can't really do anything. I managed to get myself to a Taco Bell for lunch, though, at the very least, which impressed me, to say the least. I didn't think I could do it. Um, but that happened. Um, where was I? I was actually reading the script at some point, and I just completely got off track. Right, right. Explaining why I'm not going to be making videos. I mean, I may be depressed, and I may be super low on energy, but that doesn't mean I can't make videos. The problem is that they're going to be terrible, terrible content for YouTube. Like, there's going to be no, no value in them relative to what I want from my channel, so I'm just not going to bother. Like, I was going to do a live stream the other day, a few days ago, and I just didn't. Like, I tried for an hour. Um, no one showed up. I... I don't know. I ran out of energy really quickly and just kind of shelved it, stuck it to the side. Um, I mean, if you guys want me to make videos or, or want me to do some live streaming while I'm like this, that's fine. I can try. Uh, it, it won't be good by my standards, but I'll give. I can. I could give it a shot. Mostly, I just don't want to make content that's really like a downer sort of thing. I don't know what the term I'd use there is. <laughs> the last few lines of my script are basically saying how I knew I would end up babbling. The script itself, if I had followed it word for word, was babbling, and what I'm doing now is babbling because that's what I do. That's part of how I, I process things. I just talk. Um, last thing here is that I, I have, there's there's a lot about this depression thing. There's a lot more to it than just bad things happened and now I'm depressed again. It it has its roots all the way back from when I was really little. I'm talking like four or five, all the way back then. And sometimes I'm astonished just how far I've come, given what I've been through. <laughs> I suppose I should probably stop talking. It's this is this has been fourteen and a half minutes almost of eh. I'll try and make something, but I don't don't expect much from me for I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get out of this one. It won't be as bad as when I was in college, but it's still it's still pretty bad. But yeah, I'm I'm done now. I'll I'll see you guys uh, later. Somewhere down the line.